How long have y'all been out here? Uh, not that long, a couple minutes. We how filmed long have y'all been out here? Uh, I don't know. Like, are you talking like how many months? Or are you talking about like a period. today? A period. Like, it, we don't know. Uh, I see y'all are protesting abortion or? Well, no, we're, we're, we're not protesting anything. What we're doing is exhorting the church to actually have more than just a moral opinion, but to actually do something to help make it illegal. So they, they believe abortion's wrong, right? Mm -hmm. But they don't do anything to help make it illegal. I mean, they may support, like, crisis pregnancy centers, mm -hmm. fill baby bottles up with change, you know, and help women, which is good. But we also need to make it illegal in the land. You know, kind of like if it was legal to kill police officers or old people, we wouldn't just like help them that have been beaten or almost killed, right? We would actually make it illegal. Say, no, 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 it's illegal to kill old people or officers, right? So that's what we're saying to the church is, we don't hate them, we're not mad at them. We're just saying that we need to make it illegal and we need to help make it illegal. And just having a good moral opinion doesn't do that. Yeah. So. Well, I can I can definitely understand the, you know, your, your method and in here kind of upsetting them, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of, I mean, it's pretty upsetting. Kind of shocking, yeah. You know? It and, should be, right? But Because abortion's horrible. Yeah. But, I mean, I kind of understand that... Do you want to get out of brain? I'm used to... I'm yeah. going to be in it all day. Okay. Um, all right. I kind of understand it. You know, I would think that if you're trying to make something illegal, you might want to go to the legislator about it. We do. Instead of the church. We do. We have yeah. abolitionists running for governors. We have uh, bills out. But you know what? Who doesn't support it? The pastors they won't bring it up they won't say hey go go vote for hb 948 have you have you, you know? talked to the pastor crow here for I, I haven't talked to him personally but i've talked to hundreds of pastors and because they're a 501c3 they say they can't get involved in politics and won't get involved in politics so right but if you're a christian you don't let the government tell you how to be a christian mm -hmm. i mean if they're murdering people and it's illegal they should stand up and say look we got to make this illegal yeah. right so because our God is God, not the state, not the Supreme Court, you know? I mean, the Supreme Court used to say that um, black people are only three-fifths human, right? Abolitionists didn't go along with that. They didn't just go, oh, okay, but you know who went along with it? Pastors. So my, I'm, I'm still mis, I'm misunderstanding as to why you chose the church to, to protest uh, in front of the church. Right, so we're exhorting them you know, which is like encouraging them, or it's even almost like you could say a rebuke. I can see uh, where this isn't encouraging at all. I mean, you have pictures of dead fetuses. I mean, that's right. kind of right, right. Well, that's, can I give you one of these? It's for police officers. So, um, okay. but um, yeah. So basically, what we do is we we try to show them what what they're apathetic about, right? Okay. And they may not like us or our tactic, but they'll start thinking more rightly about it, right? Okay. So that's that's. That, I mean, we don't go to like wicked churches. We don't go to like Methodist churches that are like pro-choice. We go to churches that have right moral opinion and we say, hey, take it to the next step. Like Jesus said, you know, true and undefiled religion before, um, that is acceptable to God is taking care of widows and orphans, right? And in like Amos and Jeremiah and Isaiah, you know, God says, I hate your worship. First bring justice to the land. Defend the father. I mean, it says defend the fatherless, right? Have y'all been have y'all been to the to the city at all and obtained a permit for a yeah, protest or anything like that? We don't that? need one for free speech and, and again that's you know. yeah. So but no. I'm just saying but I mean, you know, they do require a permit to protest. Yeah, you know. yeah. Free speech does not require any permit. Now it does require a permit if we're gonna like block off the street or or you know, but regular free speech, you yeah. know, the, the, we're I understand. We're I mean, fine. I'm, yeah. I mean I'm First in the Constitution a little bit. You know, you're, yeah, so. you're trying to be a little, you're kind of using your color to see if you can get us to leave by... I'm not, I'm not asking you to leave at all. I'm just, okay. I'm just, I'm confused with your tactic. Well, of course, this, you know, like you said, this is, you're going for the shock factor. And well, I mean, when you, when you, when you go for the shock factor, and people are going to get shocked and they're going to call the police and we're going right. to come out and we're going to assess the situation. And uphold the law. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, Garrison said, um, I'm going to be as harsh as truth. That, that's what this is. That that's just the truth. This is legal. Yeah, I understand. This age, but I, you know. But I don't want to see this. You know, yeah. I, had a, I had a child die three years ago. I don't yeah. want to see this. Right. I right. don't like it at all. Right. But I'm a police officer too, and I understand that you have a right to to show this stuff, whether right. if I agree with it or not, right. or whether I think that 
you know, like I said, whether I agree with this or not, okay? Right. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna, I'm gonna talk to my sergeant and we're gonna talk things back and forth between you, the church, and, and my sergeant, and we'll, I'll be right back with you, okay? <laughs> okay. Just remember, this man's a liar, right here. He actually told the police that we were blocking people from entering the church. I sat here and listened to him on the phone, talk, call. So, I mean, he's, he's lying to you guys. So, okay. Well, he didn't. There's a new guy there, so I want to make sure he heard. And, and I can say what I, what I want, right? 